VMware vCenter Server is a critical component of your vSphere infrastructure. So obviously keeping a healthy vCenter is a very important task as an administrator. If you're like me, in the past you have gathered various command line tools and uh, ran different sets of commands to gather health and other diagnostic information from your vCenter server when required. I'm going to introduce you guys today to a new VMware Fling that allows you to, in a holistic way, gather uh, all the critical information uh, needed for troubleshooting and for support information and overall just keeping a healthy vCenter server all in one place. This tool that we are talking about for effective vSphere and specifically vCenter server troubleshooting is called the vSphere Diagnostic Tool. Now, the vSphere Diagnostic Tool is a VMware fling. Uh, VMware flings, in case you have not heard of these before, are uh, developed by in-house engineers, uh, software developers inside of VMware that produce very useful and effective tools that may not as of yet be included in fully supported production utilities or solutions uh, that are found in current VMware products. But as a case in point, they often transition to that point. Uh, the uh, VMware OS optimization tool that we, myself included, have used for years and years to uh, create effective golden images for VMware Horizon environments uh, that is now a supported VMware tool and for years it was a VMware fling. So these are very powerful, robust utilities and tools that we can take advantage of. Uh, the v, uh, vSphere Diagnostic Tool, if you just simply Google for vSphere Diagnostic Tool VMware Fling, uh, you will arrive at the uh, website on the VMware Flings uh, page. Uh, just as a summary, and I'm reading this straight from the website, uh, the vSphere Diagnostic Tool is a Python script that runs diagnostic commands on the vCenter server Photon Appliance to return useful troubleshooting data while, re while running within the confines of the local environment without upstream dependencies. So essentially what this is is a simple Python script that you download, upload to your vCenter server appliance and it runs a wide range of tests that those are healthy. Uh, notice the list that we have here. It gathers basic vCenter info. It gives you information about the lookup service, an Active Directory check, certificate checks, disk checks, DNS, NTP, port checks, root account check, vCenter services check, and even vCenter high availability checks. So I would imagine this script is going to continue to uh, morph and uh, evolve into an even more powerful uh, utility. It gives you a simple pass or warning or failure for each of those included checks that the project is currently checking. Uh, I found it interesting too, it notes that the team are continuing to add new capabilities and checks into this tool. They have a backlog of over 100 new features that they are developing. And as you can uh, see on the page itself, the long-term goal is to have this tool made available in all current and future VMware products with Photon OS appliances as well as ESXi. So uh, this is going to be no doubt a project that continues to grow. So what I have done is I have downloaded the zip file of the vSphere diagnostic tool directly from the VMware Fling site, and I have unzipped that zip file. Now you can unzip it on your workstation or you can uh, copy it over to your VCSA appliance and unzip it there if you prefer. Uh, but what I've done, I've went ahead and unzipped it on my uh, workstation, and I've just got WinSCP open. What I'm gonna do is just simply copy uh, the file to the root directory of the VCSA appliance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to connect to the VC VCSA appliance and log in as root. And once there, 
I can now see if I do a directory listing, if I just do an LS, I can see the VDT folder that I just copied up. So if I change into the VDT folder um, and do a list out, there's actually a subfolder called VDT, change to VDT. And if you note, there is a VDT.py script. So this is the Python script that is the actual tool itself. Now, if I try to execute the uh, Python script, I'm gonna get a permission denied. So I'm just gonna do a change mod plus X, VDT, and we're going to allow that to be executed. Then we can now run the utility. So all you have to do is simply call the uh, Python script. It's going to first ask you for the SSO administrator. So I'm going to log in with that. And as soon as I hit enter on the password, uh, the tool is going to run. So it's not gonna prompt you to run, it's just gonna automatically start running through that battery of tests that we detailed uh, from the product page itself. And so the, the script is finished. But if I scroll all the way back up, we can see the uh, information that is presented is very thorough. Uh, you get a lot of information about the general uh, vCenter information, the version, uh, the uptime of the appliance, how it's configured from a virtual hardware perspective, the SSO domain. Uh, we can also see, uh, start seeing uh, things like uh, DNS check. And as you can see, I've got a failure there. Uh, also see the status of the lookup check. We can look at the um, VC certificates. We can also look at the directory core files check, uh, the vCenter Postgres DB check. A lot of times you'll get a table that just gets out of control uh, size-wise on your uh, VCSA appliance. This gives you a quick look at the sizes of those Postgres DB tables. You can also uh, get a quick snapshot of the disk itself. Uh, disk capacity is, you know, are you running out of space there? What about NTP? So it checks NTP, vCenter port check, root account check. Uh, what is the attribute set on the actual root account itself? VC services, syslog. So as you can see, you get a very thorough output using this utility. So guys, there you have it, the vSphere diagnostic tool, a new VMware fling that I highly recommend that you check out. It gives you a quick overview of the health of your VCSA appliance, as well as any potential issues that you might be running into or seeing in your environment. Well, I'm Brandon Lee. Please do like the video and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys soon.